Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Seers of the Sea, where we have just had the arrival of the fertility goddess Lala, who has decided to show up and do what she does best and provide us with more babies to boost the population of our struggling tribe. So, if you guys have not seen the last episode, I highly recommend stopping everything and going back to see it. You can find a link to the Seers of the Sea playlist in the video description because it has been quite a wild ride and I am very excited to see where the new babies will take us. Not only the one that Kailala, aka Lala, the fertility goddess, who has just showed up, uh, washed up on shore, startling everybody and getting immediately down to the business of babies, uh, not only the one that she will have, but also the one that Kai is expecting, with Ma Wei, the strongest male on the island, who only has five days left to live. And his mate, let's see, Shapri, gives birth in three days and she lives for eight days. Yes, we might have one more child. I am so relieved. But he did have kind of a secret child uh, with Kai. And it was sort of done on the side with sort of the, the quiet understanding between Kai, Ba Wave, and um, Kai's mate, Nari, that it was for the good of the tribe. And it was also because Nari did receive a vision early on that he should be wary about putting too much emphasis or not being aware of his own direct family descendants. So all sorts of hubbubaloo going on and we still don't have vampire head or vampire head why do i keep calling it that we still don't have bat head with vampire but i'm determined to get there eventually so all right let's carry on peaceful bears moving around peacefully i imagine uh vampire is going to continue i really i just feel like she'd refuse to have a mate until she gets bat head and nani there we go Nari is going to have little Pacific come and hang out with him and see what's going on. And I feel like it would give Nari a, a moment's nostalgia for back when old man Trumpet used to live with them and he had washed ashore with the old tribe. And now Nari kind of understands why the old man was always so cranky. And it just feels like there's so much to take care of and, and it's so important to make sure there's enough food and the food stores are going a little faster now. He's beginning to understand the old man's concern. You want everyone to be all right after all. Porcupine fish, unfortunately, is not going to live long enough to have any children. In a way, I feel like that's appropriate because when you have a sickly child, it makes sense that they don't make it to adulthood, but still kind of sucks. Uh, she will, however, play with all of the stag moles and wander around there. Shapri has two days left before she gives birth, and we kind of need to restore one of her nests. I think her son, Bronze No Shell, will go ahead and help out with that on one side, and then he's going to clear away the grasses, searching for roots that his su surprise new mate, Kailala, can enjoy on the other. There we go. Ba Wave is going to spend some of his final days swimming over and staying by the side of his mate Shapri. And Kai, well, she has four more days left before she gives birth again. But even though Nari is feeling a little bit conflicted, he is going to do his best. He will repair the old nest and he's going to go ahead and gather new nesting material and try to teach little Partial, their, their little baby, uh, you know, how how to, you know, build a nest, uh, you know, your mother will be back and she's going to be ready to give birth pretty soon, so you gotta be careful, son. Mm. And then Kai, yeah, we're gonna let her wander along the edges of the beach, searching for shells, but she's beginning to think going inland was the wrong idea, and the truth is that they do need nichelings who can handle the deep waters where Ba Wave did say that he had seen some of those shells. Um, so I think the answer is actually in the deep ocean. Hmm. All right. And then Skipjack, I don't think, could pass up a, a solid meal like that. And that actually gave us a ton of food, so that was a good idea. All right. Next up. Hello, Peaceful Bear. All right. Vampire continues to slowly but surely get her way over to Bathead. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we do have little porcupine fish 
hanging out here with the peaceful bear. He might- oh, if she passes away, he might bring her back and like help to bury her. Oh, that's so sad, but it's also- I mean, what else can we do? I don't have some healing fruits on this island to heal the poor thing. Uh, let's see. So, Shafri is ready to give birth, so she's gonna get nice and cozy, as she always does. And we'll go ahead and let- I think Ba wave. Yeah, we'll have him come over, and he'll try to crack open this- this hard green rock in order to provide Shafri with some nourishment. And meanwhile, Bronze No Shell will carry on and try to discover more tree roots to be able to offer up to the hungry Kailala, who has quite a few days before she actually gives birth. So we'll let her do a little bit of that. Hey, back off. I need these. Naru, I think he wants to wander around, but he's just too frantic to get the berries before the bundles. Kai, three more days left before she gives birth to Ba Wave's child. So I think she's just going- <gasps> A shell of prophecy! Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got to get that shell. We have got to get that shell. All right, meanwhile, Nari, he's gonna- He got the noodle doodle worms! Yes! Whoops. But we're like a bazillion- Why does it take 40 more? Nari has spent most of his life trying to get those noodle doodle worms. Ugh. Maybe his son can help. Partial, when you're old enough, you might be able to help with the noodle doodle worms. At least he can get the the um, nuts, even if he can't open up the shells for like the prophecy. All right, Skipjack, speaking of which, Kailala has four days left before she gives birth. So you actually have a bit of time, Skipjack. He is really good at collecting. We need like another female. I, I wonder if, Vam I think Vampire is gonna need to take more mates on. Hmm. All right, so let, oh wait, baby, 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 <gasps> purple baby, be healthy, be healthy. She's a healthy purple baby named Wave Wave. <laughs> what? I love it. Her name is Wave Wave, and she has recessive gills. She's got recessive fishing tail, and she's got recessive hind legs. You guys, that's amazing. She's literally a purple wave. Okay, that is gonna have Shopri fall into Ba Wave's arms with glee. I think he, there we go. So he will offer her a little bit of food and he too will be content at the newest arrival that he has. And he might even cast a thought to the baby that Kai carries on the other side of the island, who I think we're actually going to roll the, the shell for the baby that Kai is carrying. That seems appropriate because this may be a, a prophesied child. This is a child that I think Kai was feeling that she was prompted to go out of her way, out of her heart even, to be able to provide to the tribe. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and open the shell and we will see what the prophecy shall be for her baby. So, <gasps> yes! Okay, so we actually rolled a, a 3-6, which means... <laughs> oh, thank you, blessed die. Which means not for Kai, but for when the baby is born, we can actually give it gills. Or under, or water body, or all of the, I think I'd give it water body, actually, because that would give us even better swimming. That would be really amazing. But the reason that we are so excited about that is because we do need swimming. I, I mean, I could give it white fur, which would also be good. No, I couldn't give it white fur, because the three means it needs to be something skill-based. So threes and fours means that we have to assign something related to the skills that we are really searching for. And then having a one and two means something internal, like higher fertility, which will take us forever to get, or better eyesight, or better, like, better blood clotting. Uh, and a five and six relate to things that are physical appearance, which would be giving the baby white fur so that hopefully its descendants would have white fur like we need or red ram horns because we need red antlers. Uh, can I unlock antlers? Where are my antlers? Let's see. Where's, where's things that go on top? Antenna, savanna horns. Ant Ugh. We have to go to a cold climate. 
it is going to be much harder to get the Sears of the Sea than I anticipated. But I think that was an excellent sign. Kai did dream of a child that could swim fast across the sea. So she's got two days left. She's going to wiggle her way over and try to make it back over to Nari, who is going to start looking for her, actually. I think that he'd be a little curious about where she's gone off to. Also, are we about to get birth over here? Three days left on Kailala. I think that she's pretty cozy. Oh, what'd she just unlock? <gasps> Big nose! I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Kai Lala, I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing for Lala, the goddess of fertility, to decide to pass on. Not gonna question it. Uh, that's fine. And then I'm gonna keep having bronze no shell clear away the grass because he's just desperately trying to appease this mysterious female who showed up and decided to have his babies. Uh, you're not- Bob Wave. <gasps> he only has one day left. I'm really gonna be sad about that. Oh my goodness. Um, and then over here we've got little Pacific playing. He is safe. Porcupine fish. I'm a little worried about you, my dear, but you've made very good friends. Very good friends with the peaceful bear and the stag moles. Uh, vampire, for crying out loud, would you hurry up with the whole eating the insect thing? You got you got six more, and then Naru is going to end up being your mate. And he kind of, I think he's accepted his fate by now. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, so three more days of pregnancy. It might take a, a minute to get Skipjack across. He gets 20 days left. Naru has 17. Skipjack, you go ahead and... Do a tiny bit more exploring and we'll start you across next time. All right, so let's see. That, oh, <gasps> porcupine fish. Oh, I thought we had at least one more day with her. <gasps> I think that as terrible as it sounds in the hubbubaloo of elderhood and pregnancy and birth and everyone thinking she's off playing with the stag moles and the peaceful bear, I don't know if the tribe would have noticed. Isn't that terrible? But it's true. I don't know if the tribe would have noticed that she passed away. Oh, I feel so conflicted about that. Oh gosh, but it's true. Kailala has two days left on this pregnancy. Shabri! No, Shabri! You were supposed to admit Shabri's not gonna be able to have that baby. I forgot about that. <laughs> But Bull Wave is going to go ahead and try to get that Razorina. And then I think he's going to give Shapri a kiss. And he's going to dive into the waters after it. There is a Crabbit now. When did we start getting Crabbits? I think Shapri will kind of sigh wistfully to herself. And as terribly sad as this sounds, she won't know that her mate Bull Wave is about to become one with the sea because he, he's dived into the waters so often, and surely he'll be back in just a moment. She's just getting a little tired herself, that's all. Just a, a bit of a nap on the sands, and she'll be right here waiting on the beaches for when Ball Wave returns, and I'm gonna make myself cry. All I can think about is like, ugh, I wish I could draw, like really, really well. I mean, I could draw, but I wish I could draw as much as the emotion within me is just thinking about Shapri standing, waiting on the sand for Ba Wave to certainly rise from the waves once more and just getting a little sleepier and a little sleepier. Oh, I can't. I can't. It's too sad. It's too sad. We must carry on. I need more babies in this tribe so that I am not quite so so prone to tragedy. Kailala, you have two days left of this pregnancy. Uh, you're a goddess of fertility. Can't you make this better? <gasps> wave, wave is gonna come out and I think she's gonna be attracted to Naru's like attracted as a, a baby kind of is just like whoa that's a shiny thing to Naru's bright coloring uh all right let's get come on come on bathead getting close three more then we'll be there Pacific can explore he's fine uh oh and it's baby having time okay can we get her across we cannot get her back to the nest <gasps> There's a shell! I think the bar shell is gonna jump over and be like, Dad, what's this? And it's gonna be his prophecy. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get Kai as close as she can go before the, like, the, the birthing pains hit her. Oh no, I need more, what, quick! 
More grass! I need more grass! Please! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, little did Naru know, gathering that grass was absolutely critical to this. And Skipjack, you too! I need more grass. Need more grass for babies. Alright, there we go. My goodness, there aren't that many permanent nests, so we might want to relocate over here and start swimming out to sea. Uh, goodness, getting this tribe up and going is going to be quite dramatic. Whew, okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Deep within the water canyons, Ba Wave is facing off against a Kravit. He is getting older and more tired, but he is where he always has felt that his heart, other than with Shapri's emerald smile and fawning, belongs, swimming as one with the waves. Believe! We have lost him. The strongest member of the tribe is no more, but he leaves behind a child. <gasps> Lemon Sea! All hail Lemon Sea, my friends, who actually, <laughs> he can breathe underwater, He's got nimble fingers. Please tell me. He's got red horns? Yes? Not entirely red horns. And he doesn't actually display them. But he would pass on some of the things we need. Um, he doesn't have fishing tail. Curses. We need either white for red, red horns. Antlers. Um, nimble fingers. Fishing tail. And webbed hind legs. He has webbed hind legs! He has webbed hind legs! <gasps> Lemon Sea is a seer. We have been saved by Ball Wave. Truly, the prophecy came true. It was a very difficult and trying time for Nari and Kai's hearts, but the outcome will hopefully serve the tribe well. Maximum fertility. A healthy young male who will be able to swim deep in the ocean waves. Even further than, like, I think he's actually going to be an even better swimmer. Plus two swimming. That's three swimming. Well, he'll, yeah, he's actually going to be a better swimmer than even Ball Wave was. Wow. Yeah, that's really, that's really paying off, actually. Holy cow. And we still have... Kai Lala, you are not going to live long enough to contribute very many babies. <laughs> Uh, well, the last thing we can do today, my friends, is at least finally, with a sly, knowing smile on her face, give Vampire the bat head that will give us insect collecting, smelling, and hearing, and why not? <laughs> so there we go, guys. All right, we have quite a bit going on. I am very happy with the way that all of this is playing out. I hope that all of you are as well. And I'm very excited to see where Lemon C, no pun intended, will be able to take the future of the tribe. So if you guys could do please leave a like to toss a lucky shell at our newest seer's feet. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!